Hello. Uh, what I've done here is I have gotten all of the New York State Physics Regents questions, Part A and B1, which are multiple choice questions, uh, into Moodle course. And I'm going to show you how you can use that, and I'm going to show you how you can import it to your own course, or even if you wanted to take this whole course and make it your course on a server somewhere else. So first of all, let me show you what it looks like if you uh, have a question. So Moodle is a uh, course management software. Uh, the software is free, but you do need to host it somewhere. The site I'm showing you is a free site, hence all the advertisement. My apologies. If you were to click on June 2002, the infamous exam, uh, it will come up here, and I'll preview it for you, and you can see what it looks like. Now, what I actually did is I went through uh, all the PDFs, and I cropped images and made them... Uh, files and, and, and did some things so that you can get it into a course like this and you can actually take the exam and get a score and, and that's kind of fun. Uh, you can do that for all the exams. But I also have the quizzes, or rather the categories, uh, organized by topic. I've got them organized by question number, which is a little absurd. I've got it organized by exam. So if you look, here's a bank, and it has different categories. I have it organized by exam, so you can pick the exam. There's only A and B1, because those are multiple choice. I didn't bother doing it for any of the free response. Uh, I have it by question number. I thought that might be fun. For example, if I click Show Question Text, you know, we kind of have a sense as physics teachers that the exam's really similar year to year. Um, and we can see patterns, but how can we help our kids see patterns? We'll take question 36, for example. The uh, first question on uh, B1, and I'll be back in a minute. I have a phone call. Sorry about that. But question 36, the first one on part B, there's similar strains of questions that you see. So these are them from every exam. In fact, you can see this is the June 2002 exam. This was the August 2002, the January 03, June 03, January 04, etc. So you can see, looking at this, look at these three exams in a row. They ask you an estimation question. So here's another estimation. Here's some units, uh, some questions that as physics teachers we see, we recognize, we know this is coming, but they can give the, the kids trouble. We can see that right away. So that's a useful tool. Also, we have uh, a way to make random questions. So what I've done is I've taken the categories already made and turned them into quizzes on a particular topic. These are the way I segregated them. You could segregate them the way you want to. But let's just say you wanted to see questions for dynamics, forces. I have it set up that it's going to pull five questions uh, at random from the pool. So you can see that. But if I was to take the quiz again, let's see if it makes a new one, uh, I should see different questions. At least I would if I was a student. I completed it, and I, I did it again. Finally, I have the raw regents files here. And if you had this as your course, you could hide things. You could change the names so the kids don't know what years they come from. That's completely up to you. Now, what if you want to go ahead and you want to make this yours? Well, what you can do is you can download the file. Uh, let me show you where to, where to do that from. All right, now let me show you where you can get it. If you go to this site, I've hosted it there. So what you'll want to do is you'll want to go to any browser, type in that web address, or you've got this from somewhere else. You're going to want to download that. And then you're going to want to uh, upload that to Moodle. So let me take a second off camera and put this on my desktop. So now that I've saved that to my desktop, you're going to go to your course. Now, here's uh, sort of a sandbox, if you will, a course that I'm going to import this into. Uh, the important thing to pay attention to is the address of your course up here and the ID number. You're going to need those. So in this case, physicsteachers.ninehub.com which, by the way, you may still be able to get free Moodle sites from. 
and course number 25. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to files and I'm going to upload the zip file that we just downloaded. So I'm going to upload a file because it's a zip file. I've got a browse to it uh, and it is called Regents uh, Images. Notice the little zipper, it's a zip file. I'm going to upload it. Once it's uploaded, I'm going to unzip it. That should just take a few moments. Hit OK. It's my preference to then get rid of this zip file, but that's really up to you. Now, in this folder, first of all, are the instructions, the same ones that are over here but also uh, there's this file here. This is the text file that has all the questions. It's going to tell Moodle how to put all the questions together, where to put them in the categories, and they're going to have links that go to these picture files. Each one of these files is an image of a question. For this all to work, we're going to need to modify this so that it matches the course that we had. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to save this file, and I'm going to save it to my desktop, you can save it wherever you like. And then I'm going to open that file using Notepad or WordPad or some other text editor. You could probably do it in just Microsoft Word, uh, but this is built in. So I'm going to open. I placed it on my desktop. Uh, I named the file 00 so that it makes it easier to find. It's going to be at the top alphabetically. Reach Questions 2010. And here's a whole bunch of text which to the human eye doesn't look much like much unless you've stared at it as much as I have. It's essentially HTML with some other things that, that tell it how to do the questions. What we care about is this address here. Physics teachers that nine hub that com, etc. Up to this point here with twenty four. Now yours will be more different than this, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to replace that with the address of your course. So it'll be something like www.yourcourse.edu slash file.php slash something. In this case, because I'm on the same Moodle site, the only thing that changes is my course number is now 25. I'm going to do a replace all. So that's now replaced. I have to save it. And I can close it. And now if I go back to my course, there's an area called questions on the left in a block here. Click questions. And then you're going to hit import. And when you import, there's a couple settings you want to make sure you have checked off. This is a GIFT, G-I-F-T format. You've got to make sure it's a GIFT format. Make sure checked is the get category from file and get context from file. And now what we're going to do is we're going to choose a file. That file is on the desktop of my computer. That's the one we just modified. So I go to desktop and it's called 00 reg files, something like that. Right here. I'm going to open it. So I'll upload this file. And really, you just stand back, give it. This could take a couple minutes. And what it's doing is from that text file, it's actually parsing out all of the questions. It's connecting it with the uh, images that are in the folders. And it's basically going to bring this whole thing to life so that it's in a form that you can, you can use. I'm going to pause it while it finishes. So it's now actually finished the import process. Uh, we know it worked correctly because the images uh, show up in the questions. If we had the wrong address, for example, if we put the wrong course number or the wrong name of the folder where the pictures are, you would have just seen a little uh, tiny square showing you that there's supposed to be a picture, but there is. So it worked. You just have to go down to the bottom and basically hit continue, even though it really has already done it. And then when the course comes up, we can see here we have all our categories, just like was in the first course, with 
Regents exam questions by exam. We've got it by question number if you really want to do that. We've got it by category. Uh, it's really in a way that I hope is uh, useful for people. By the way, some of you may have uh, textbooks that come with uh, exam view. It's actually possible to get those questions into Moodle, uh, including with the images. Um, what you do is you export it from the question bank. Uh, you'll want to export it into uh, GIFT format or uh, coming out of uh, that program, I believe. You do it as a blackboard, but in the end, you re-export it out of the course um, and you change the links in the gift file, the text file, just like this, and re-import it, and it, and it usually works. I can help people out with that if, if they're, uh, they're really interested. And let's just say, again, really quickly, you wanted to make a quiz. Uh, what you would do is you would have to turn editing on, and then in one of these blocks, you're going to want to add an activity, that activity being a quiz. You're going to need to name it something, so let's just name it... Uh, first quiz. Uh, lots of controls. You can turn it on, turn it off. I'm not going to get into that right now. So I'll just say, sure, that looks good. Save and display. And then I'm going to select questions. And the way I do that is I pick the bank I want to draw from. For example, let's say I only wanted to see DC circuit questions. What I would do is I would scroll down until I get to the category DC circuits and I can click on DC circuits and everything from the subtopics underneath that will be available or I can pick on just a subtopic that's up to you so let's pick DC circuits um, I like to show the text in the question then you can actually preview it like so pick the ones you want or you can pick random so let's just say we want to make uh, 10 random questions hit add now if we go to the course, it's going to show up as a quiz, and if I was a student, I would see that quiz, and I'd go, oh, cool, quiz, I can't wait to take that. Attempt the quiz, and uh, the one thing you want to make sure that you don't do, which I did, was leave it so that it shuffles the answers. You want it to not shuffle the answers so that, you know, you don't have to jump around. But that's how you do that. Uh, if you're really interested in doing this, I could even uh, give you a course for a month or two anyway on this site under my domain um, that you could play around with. You could even get some kids in and doing with it what you want. Uh, but then you probably have to export it and re-import it at some point into a course that you actually uh, use. So I've been talking for 13 minutes. I have no idea if anybody's still listening, but I think this is pretty neat. I find the whole idea of charging oodles of money like some companies do for freely available questions a little bit uh, infuriating given the prices uh, considering they don't actually generate their own content. These are all questions that are New York State physics regents questions. They're freely available as far as I know. There's no copyright or anything. So use them to your heart's content. Enjoy.